Zaplon trying to get the bomb online, but this is looking like a shamble fight here for the side of Hope's Peak. I don't know if they're going to be able to win this here. Shatter that's Shatter. Nice. Yeah, that Shatter is just absolutely massive, shutting down both tanks on the side of Hope's Peak, and just no one left to touch besides Geode. And I don't think Alone Lucio is going to be able to turn this. Unless Kef on the Echo has anything to say about it, but the High Noon, I don't think will allow that to happen. Axolot will do great wonders here, and as we're going to see both of them using them out at the same time, Glacial, they said the Death Blossom, going to be massive there. He only needs one because it's going to find both supports, and last fight here, I think this could be the map here. Glacial finding three in the very final moments. He's coming in when it matters the most. Snipes in the back line. We'll find the Lucio for Axolotl. Flawless dancing on the point here by himself. He is so low, but it's just going to be him capping casually. Glacial going on to the point here. Big beat drop coming in. This should be Hope's uh, peak finally cracking into this objective. Yeah, I don't really agree with the beat investment there. They might need it to win the fight, but even still. Oh, Geo, it's going to find a nice beat. Oh, so, yeah, no, I, I, give it there. That, that should be the fight now. I, I think this will go the way of Hope's peak, but the problem it's gonna now. going to have to be right here, right now. Kurt LeBert just sort of wall riding on the outskirts here, but I don't think it's going to matter as the so DPS ultimates are going to be online here for Hope's peak, and that should be all they need with Snipes just absolutely cleaning house with the 3k. He's going to find the Diva Mech as well, and Kev with the cleanup crew EMP. That is just absolutely massive for the side of Hope's peak. What a turnaround on the map this of all like Jeered versus Sparrow right here. If Jeered can avoid this, which I look think he's going to, only finds three, but the beat drop coming in line. Fault doesn't get caught in time. That should be absolutely beautiful for the side of Axolotl. And if they're going to win this fight, it's going to have to be right now. And I think they just did that. Beautiful uh, clutch plays by Glacial, getting the headshots onto Flawless before he can get the beat drop. If they're going to win a fight right here. Oh, that only finds two, but the beat drop will come online. Immortality as well. Geo finds two! Booping Sparrow off the map, and Pixel Master is gonna say, it's my time to shine with the Coalescence. If Geo can live right here, I think they just won the map. That is absolutely crazy there. What a beautiful old combo combination. Abon finds two! That should be all the wraps here, uh, as Axolotl just falls apart there. Yeah, and you know, I mentioned this on our, you know, first... Recognize both supports are not with their team here because they're going back from spawn. Glacial with the high new gets eaten up by Adbon. So many ults being traded here. This is an absolute mess of a fight. But that blizzard is massive from Sparrow, finding three inside of it. And that's Glacial just cleaning up beautifully from that. Damn damage yeah, in here. Maybe that's how they're going to expect to break the Maywall. And that's how they're going to do it right now with the bomb from Adbon splitting off the team. And the stun from Snipes. That's what you love to see with that combo. Finding two there. Obviously, Glacial's going to roll in desperately trying to find a pick on the Snipes. But that won't matter in the slightest there. Beautiful combo coming up from Hope's Peak to break the hold that Axolotl had. I don't think I've ever seen that. Like you're from Hope's Peak. Look at Sparrow, though. I think Sparrow's position just wins them the map right here. Look at this flank tire that's going to happen. They have no clue that this is happening right whatsoever. Right, let's see how big this is. It can be absolutely massive if they go now. He's not even gonna- he's riptiding in front of them. He does not care. That should be three. Yeah, four. Yep, yeah, that- that should be doing it. Snipes with the pick on a glacial, but I don't think it's gonna matter here. Just what a clutch flank by Sparrow. Both immortality fields being uh, taken down early here, and that flawless just finding Jaybird. Yep, that's gonna be stabilizing them really early here for the defensive side. I wanna highlight this Torp turret. It still hasn't been broken, Misfit. That is just doing so much damage. Adbon somehow getting picked. Wait, what is, what, what is happening? Toasty finds three? Are you serious? How, how, how do you let that happen if your hopes peak there? You had so many uh, opportunities to sort of end that fight there, and it just flips in the favor of Axolotl in the final hours. Online for it. Window gonna be used early here, just for as much space as possible. Flawless getting the pin, are you kidding me? That's gonna be the main tank down for the side of Axolotl, but the blizzard, look at that blizzard, that's absolutely massive. But these stabilization ultimates are perfect for the side of Hope's Peak. I don't know if Axolotl is gonna be able to counter them. As I say that though, the bomb on the cart could be just what they need. Boop, it gets booped. Only no Abba on the cart and that beat drop should be all she wrote. What a beautiful boot from Kurt. Should just be winning them the map here, tying the series, wow. Kurt LeBert there with an excellent boot there, making sure that Diva Bomb gets value. Hard rotating up on the high ground. You gotta drop if you're Hope's Peak here, and that's exactly what they- Supports are split! Supports are split, and that's gonna take them both down. Big miscommunication coming in from the side of Hope's Peak, and that's gonna be a fight win, you would assume, for Hope's Peak. Ultimates are in favor of them right now. Kev actually doing good with the copy here, but... Glacial is going to pick him off for that. Favor the defensive side as the spawns are so much closer. You see Kurt the Burt dueling sides Toasty somehow falls off the map. And that should finally be the curtain calling for Axolotl there. 
Yeah, no, that's that's probably going to be uh, the end of this defense, or at least we expect it to be. I don't think there's really any way Kurt LeBert can kill six here. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I've okay. seen... But Abon trying to do that himself with the Flux, going to find five members of the squad there for Hope's Peak, or sorry, for Axolotl, but the Blizzard should be good for killing Snipes and Flawless. Two men picks, and that should finally be Axolotl pushing back this defense. But look at the time. There's only 10 sec or 15 seconds left. Yeah, this is yeah, uh, Pete good sort of getting a bit staggered there on the re-engage, and now this should just be, uh, I would say, Hope's Peak winning, or sorry, Hope's Peak losing this, but the rally could actually find the difference, and Snipes back on the Desperation Doomfist booping Glacial off the map, and this should be the DPS down for the side of uh, Axolotl Syndicate. Snipes is absolutely carrying on this Doomfist right now, finding three picks now. Are you kidding me? There's no way they win this fight. Yeah, well, when there's a will, there's a way. They do actually... For Axolotl Syndicate, yep, yeah, Immortality gonna be forced out. Glacier with a beautiful headshot, taking down one of the DPS for Hope's Beak. A bit of an interesting flux there, he's gonna miss it. That's not what you wanna see if you're an Axolotl fan, but five seconds left, it is do or, do, a do or die for both sides here. Sparrow realizing that and gets knock on wood there. Immortality is still available for Axolotl, that's absolutely massive for them to go aggressive. Snipes on the Hanzo now, just the DPS roulette for the side of Hope's Peak here. But I think Axolotl finally managed to stabilize here, courtesy of Kurt LeBert's beat drop there. Yeah, no, it's looking pretty dire now for Hope's Peak. I think Axolotl has secured the hold there. The um, stabilization needed there. Glacial on the Hanzo, finding a key pick onto the star hit scan, And this is going to be a very sloppy fight here. Jaybird going to have to go in the back line to find a big shatter. He does exactly that, but Abon on the swap, the Reinhardt, we'll get him in terms of that. But other than that, it's looking like Axolotl has this point with their name all over it. Yeah, I, once they get rid of these Saul picks, it's going to be a done deal here. Especially with five volts going to be online for Axolotl here. So much damage going to be coming in, and that's going to just be ult traded for ult here. Obviously, Sparrow with the Blizzard is going to be traded out for Pixel Masters Transcendence, and this should be Toasty Toast getting the picks that are needed to win this. Abbon getting taken down. Earthshatter is nullified for that regard, and yeah, you got to get off this Ryan if you're Hope's Peak. We'll, we'll force out the Immortality Field for his team's DPS to sort of capitalize off of that. He will get traded in his efforts, but it's still definitely winnable. And Glacial recognize that the boop, the boop from Kurt Bird. He's been so clutch with these, finding two with that. And wow, that's gonna be two one in favor of Axolotl, unless Kef just touches point, which he's like just yep. not able to. Not happening. <laughs> nope. That's uh, that's gonna be Axolotl taking this one and making a statement. There is a period after the two one there. That is. Here and it could be winnable for Hope's Peak. Yeah, especially with the coalescence. That should be all she wrote there. Really good aggression coming in from Hope's Peak, and now I gotta mention, look at the ultimates they have compared to the ultimates on Axolotl. Ultimates that they can aggress with on the side of Hope's Peak could be countered really easily. Three minute EMP in the back, that is a really good go button, and that's gonna be the uh, support line cut. Oh, Geo with the late beat. Pixel Master will get traded because of that. That might actually be really, really beneficial if you are Axolotl. Oh, big pulse! No, Flawless just barely gets out in time. The trouble to deal be. with. And Sparrow on the passion pick, dropping onto the point. He does not give a damn. He takes down Flawless instantly. Flawless was in his primal, mind you, and he took him down in less than two seconds. And that should finally be uh, the pick that they needed on the side of Axolotl, especially because Spork almost has this nano online. Advan flying onto the point in absolute desperation. Sleep Dark coming out into the back line on Snipes. That might be able to trade him as well. Yep. But they're going to, to use a roster that wants more point presence. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of this, especially the Zarya. Uh, EMP will take out the tanks here. That actually is pretty good. And the Pulse Bomb is just the cherry on top of that push. And that's not going to be what you want if you're Axolotl, because there's still going to be time left if they cap this right now. Yeah, that's going to be time left in the bank. What stabilization needed for Hope's Peak, and that's exactly what they're going to try to do. But with both the portals being online, I'm going to find that hard to happen, especially with Axolotl just going balls to the wall with this rally. And unless this bomb just kills everyone, which it's not looking like it will, yeah, Axolotl is dominating this point right now. Yeah, I know that was a really good use of oh, the so resource. They can pick him up. No, they're not going to be able to. The primal is going to be used at least, though. And he's already super low. The stabilizing high noon could be exactly what they need, especially with the main tank for Hope Peak being taken down. Jaybird popping off with this aggression here. This is exactly what you want. And there's nobody on the side of Hope's, or sorry, Axolotl that's even slightly low. This should just be a clean wipe here, unless anyone can get a desperation touch for Hope's Peak. Snipes does have the pulse bomb, which could turn the tides. He's been so massive with it before, but he doesn't touch! Oh, the, fl the flashbang 
from Snipes will force the Immortality Field. The Immortality Field, though, on Pixel Master side is taken down early, and that's going to be Flawless taken down. Jared forced to touch here, and the Clutch Turret Kill will absolutely dominate the side of Hope's Peak. No ticks being taken down. The Torb Pick is absolutely popping, and wow, no ticks. Some Winter sort of dropping. cleave will get taken down quickly there, having to force up. Jared gets picked very early by Kurt LeBert. The Brig doing wonders for them here. The pick on the Snipe, or sorry, Spork will be huge, but I don't think it will matter here. It's so much aggression being in favor of Axolotl, and this might just be Hope's Peak losing the series. What an aggressive dive, working wonders for them, and Jared getting picked off very, very quickly there. What a